Hello YouTube, welcome to the second race of my uh, Formula 1 1958 uh, season challenge. Uh, today's race will be Monaco. Um, uh, in modern Formula 1 terms, it's my favourite track, but uh, I think in the 1950s and 60s it's, it wasn't as good. So let's get qualifying and um, I'll I'll cut back when, when the race begins. Alright, well, we qualified second, um, but unfortunately for us, uh, it's raining um, here in Monaco, so this race is going to be um, interesting, to say the least. So, let's get going with the second race of the season. Um, wait, where's the flag person? Ah, yeah. oh, there, no, never mind, as the flag drops in Monaco. And I had a bit of a laggy start there, but that's okay. We keep, we're off the line now, chasing down uh, Mike Hawthorne and uh, T. Brooks. Uh, we've got Sterling Moss behind us, and oh, there's a spin already! Jesus! Slammed into the, the, the armco there. I'm chasing down Chichindrindrindrindrind. Uh, sorry, I don't know his name, I can't pronounce it at all. But uh, the understeer is terrible in the wet, and I don't know what happened there. Um, ended up face planted in the Arco barrier so I have been pushed up in the first place with Sterling Moss behind me but it's very hard to break into these corners and turn while it's wet. Um, the car's got massive understeer. Like I have to like slow down to like 30 k's an hour to get around that bloody corner. Um, and Sterling Moss is catching me now so uh, yeah he's he's not giving me any room to breathe as he's sniffing my rear end trying to, to, to break away a gap, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen because he, he's closing in on me, and um, if I'm not careful, he, he'll he uh, he'll slip, slip around my outside or my inside or somewhere, he's having a look down my inside, so I go to cover him off, I give him a little bit of room, but oh my goodness, the brakes, the brakes, oh, just completely understeered through that corner, but nah, Sterling Moss, he's, he's off, he's, he's off. Um, I, I don't think I'll be catching that. He's yeah, he's he's doing a lot faster than me, especially especially in this weather. He's certainly got the better car for this one. Um, but I will. I I am happy so far with the second place. Let's let's try and keep this position uh, as we go through uh, first corner. The track is obviously very very different in 1958. Uh, not as many corners. Obviously the sights are very different, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's still a, it's still Monaco, and uh, I, I take a slightly different line through those corners, because I feel that it's faster to do it the way that I, that I just did it then, but the understeer is really, really killing me, at least I don't have any suspension damage like the last race, that was just ridiculous, look at those old Dunlop ads there, this is back in the day when haystacks were the uh, main form of barrier at the Principality. Fortunately for the haystacks, it's very, very highly flammable and these old cars, it's very difficult to to have an accident and then not have a fire. So this, this corner is a bit tricky as well because if you're not careful, you're going to just fly over the, 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 hay, the hay there. Um, I'm trying to break earlier for this corner because the understeer I know is just ridiculous, but uh, so far, oh, wait, where did Sterling Moss go? I think I, I think he's out of the race, I don't know what happened there, but I've suddenly been thrust into first place, <laughs> thrust into first place, thrust into first place, and now we're coming along to start the third lap, just two laps to go, um, Graham Hill is, is a good 20, 22 seconds, if I'm reading this bit, 22 seconds behind me, getting possibly close to the barrier, they're nearly joining the barrier, but there's, there's a lot of position changes behind me, but that rain is really pelting down, I would have hated to have been a driver back then, you have virtually no protection, um, but yeah, Graham Hill is 24 seconds behind me, he's coming second, I'm not going to be careful, because this, this understeer can be, this understeer is really bad, see, See how much I have to slow down just to get around that corner there. It's ridiculous. Here comes a hairpin. Try and slow as much as I can. Ride the curb a bit there. 
Um, and I'm no, I'm not turning. I'm not, and I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm putting the car in reverse, but I seem to be. I am part of the wall now. Forever, this shall be the position that my car is in. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe Graham will knock me out of the way. No, he's he's too good for that. And he won't do that. Um, well, uh, Bruce. Bruce McLaren, help. I'm sort of hoping someone goes wide and sort of knocks me out, knocks me out of the way so that I can get back on track. Because it's not reversing, no matter how hard I, I, I press the accelerator button. And it's in reverse gear, you can see it's just R there. Reverse. And yes, someone's knocked me out. Fantastic. Alright, um, um, gear, wait, hang on. I, oh no. I don't, I have no way to get back into first gear, I haven't set those controls. Oh, I'm going to have to retire. Oh my goodness. That's just sad. <sighs> yeah, I am I am stuck in reverse. I'm going to have to retire. It's just, yeah. The race is over as far as I'm concerned. So, wow! Look at all the accidents there. But I had a DNF, and only only uh, four people finished the race. This is the standings after that one. Uh, Gregory leading the championship for Maserati. Graham Hill and the other Lotus is doing very very well. Um, but yeah, no, that's just a disappointing race. I'm just going to have to go into the settings now and make sure that these controls are set up properly. And give myself a a way to get to first gear if I ever have to do that again, which I'm thinking I will. So yeah, that was a disappointing race, but next up is Zanvoort, so um, yeah, hopefully I can get out of this dry spell and actually get a good result without something something happening, but you know, we'll see. In uh, Formula 1 to finish first, first you must finish, so see you next time. Goodbye.